While Europeans take credit for inventing many things, if you take the time to do in-depth research, you will find that they probably did not invent most of what they claimed to have invented at all. For example, where did chocolate milk come from? Well, according to the Innovation Center of U.S. Dairy, over 16 million Americans think that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. A story going around today claims that in a new poll, 7% of Americans believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. To the Innovation Center of U.S. Dairy, over 16 million Americans believe that chocolate milk comes from brown cows. To think that it comes from a brown cow. That's new to me. That does blow my mind. So who first thought to add a chocolate and milk together? According to the Natural History Museum in Britain, it began with Sir Anza Sloan, an Irish botanist who was born in 1660. Interested in nature and medicine, Sloan received his MD at the University of Orange in Nassau. At only 27, he became a doctor in Jamaica. Sloan spent some time in Jamaica in the early 1700s, where the local people gave him cocoa to drink. He found it nauseous, but by mixing it with milk, it was far more palatable. So here we have the Christopher Columbus of chocolate, inventing something that was already discovered and offered to him. When he returned to England, he brought the milk and cocoa mixture with him and for many years it was sold as medicine. But as with most things, the European who gets credit for inventing something probably did not actually invent it at all. According to James Del Bugo, an historian, Jamaicans were brewing a hot beverage from shavings of freshly harvested cocoa, which they boiled with milk and cinnamon. And this was as far back as 1494. Chocolate has been known to humans as far back as 350 BC. So it is hard to believe that no one before Sloan thought of adding milk to it. To clarify, though he modified a chocolate drink recipe, Sloan did not actually invent chocolate milk. Europeans learned about chocolate centuries earlier when Christopher Columbus landed in the Americas. So maybe, just maybe, Jamaicans created chocolate milk as they were brewing cocoa shavings, milk and cinnamon when Christopher Columbus arrived in 1494. And when Cortes reported on the Aztecs' favorite imported cold drink shortly after, the Spanish began trying to replicate their recipe. And that is the reason why there are so many variations that are not quite chocolate milk appearing all over. So the only credit I can give to Sir Anne Sloan is the credit of being the first to take chocolate milk to Europe. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching.